Hello everyone, Karen Itoje here. I'm a real estate consultant in Lagos, Nigeria. And um, I'm back again with another episode of my video in real estate investing. Of course, as usual, this video is to inform and educate you so that on real estate matters, of course, so that when you're ready to invest, you're able to make you know an informed decision. I'm going to start from my last video now. My last video I was talking about um the land documents that you get when you buy a land or a house you know any property in general the kind of land documents that you get and the two most important land document that you get is your deed of assignment and your survey in my last video i talked about um the deed of assignment and what that's all about and um how to get it and all and the cost and everything today i'm going to just quickly address um I'm going to just quickly address that of um, survey plan. Now, um, this is going to be a quick one because I have, I have an appointment I'm rushing out. So, um, survey, a survey plan basically is um, a document that gives you um, a detailed information about the land that you're buying. Whereas the deed of assignment, the document that shows change of ownership that the person that is selling the land gives to you. Survey plan is a document that shows information, you know, about the land that you're buying. Now there are two types of survey plan, right? There's a provisional survey. Um, and provisional survey is not really a legal document, but it's just given to you in place of, you know, a survey plan. And it usually comes with information such as, you know, the size of the land, the boundary of the land, and the coordinates of the land. You really cannot use, you know, a provisional survey for much. Maybe the only thing you really can use it for is just to, you know, create your building plan. But other than that, it's not a legal document that you can use for anything. So I bet you're wondering that if a provisional survey is not a legal document or if it cannot be used for much, why do people give it yeah people give provisional survey if the land you're buying is you know under government acquisition you know if the land you're buying is under government acquisition which means that the land is not free you know if you don't know what government acquisition is just go to the channel and search for one of my videos i talked about it there so if the land is under government acquisition that's why they give provisional survey because a land that is of that government acquisition you cannot do anything with it yet because we're still waiting on the decision from the government to say whether they are releasing the land or not so because of that you cannot do anything official with the land you cannot do any documents on it that can be recognized as you know official or as a legal document hello so um, i'm going to apologize quickly because i actually ran out to catch an appointment because i was waiting on a client and then when my phone started ringing which you probably heard i had to run out immediately in the middle of my client so now i'm back to the office and i said i have to conclude this video so if you notice any difference like my hair being fat that's that's the reason I ran out actually and went like back. So um, before I left, I was talking about provisional survey. Provisional survey, as I've said, cannot, you know, be regarded as a legal document because it cannot be registered. Because of course, it will, um, the land um, in which it's being issued on is still as an issue. You know, it has the government issue around it has not been resolved. So no documents can actually be issued on the land. If the document is issued on the land, it cannot be seen as legal or binding, you know. So by provisional survey, you cannot buy a land and then you don't know where your boundaries are or where the coordinates is and all that. So they give you a provisional survey in place of, you know, um, a registered survey. That once the land, the issue that's around surrounding the land has been settled, then a proper um, survey will be given which is a, reg a registered survey and now that brings me to what um, a registered survey is a registered survey is what you're supposed to get when you buy any you know when you buy a land or when you buy even a house because your house is still on a plot of land you know a registered survey is what you're supposed to get it 
is a um, legal document is binding and it is uh, registered, referred to as registered after it has been lodged, you know, in the sort of general's office. That's when it's regarded as a um, registered survey. So like a provisional survey, a registered survey carries, you know, much more information. Now, the next thing you want to think about when it comes to survey is how much is it? How much is a survey plan? Um, to do your survey and how much that will cost would depend, first of all, on the local government where that land is situated. Secondly, on the size of the plot. Now, the cost of survey is regulated by the, um, the institution of Nigeria surveyors and it varies from local government to local government and uh, also based on land size, like I've said. And uh, I'll give you some examples. If, if you're buying a land that is within 1,000 square meters in a location such as in Bejuleki, that's like the official price for survey. 500,000. But if you're buying a land within a Tiosa local government area, by Tiosa I mean a jar, Songutedu, cost of survey plan is 1 million naira. But of course, if you are dealing with developers, you pay less as some charge you 800,000, some charge you 600,000, some charge you 500,000. So they are able to. I, I think that's because they work a lot with these surveyors. So, I mean, they give them a whole lot of business to, a lot of clients and documents to work on. Um, because of that, they are able to maybe give them, you know, discount. But I know for sure that when you deal with a, a real estate company, the prices are usually subsidized for you. So that will be all for today. Um, there's really nothing much to say about survey plan. Survey plan is, is a simple document to understand. And, I think I've said every little thing that has to be said about it. Thanks so much for, for watching and until my next episode where I'll talk about something. I don't know what I'll be talking about yet, but I'll come up with a topic and wish it, I'm sure, will be, will be something you want to hear and then discuss it. That will be, you know, these videos are bi-weekly, so that will be in two weeks time. But you don't have to be guessing when I'll be, you know, releasing a new video. So just subscribe to the YouTube channel and activate your notification. And then anytime I release a video, you'll be notified of it. That's easier. You know, it's possible that I miss an episode and then you're wondering when next, when next. So just subscribing is, is the best way to go. Just subscribe to so get notified of when there's a new episode up. Until I come your way again, I'm Karen Toje, your trusted real estate consultant in Lagos. Take care of you and bye for now.